Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to get S off on your HTC One M8 thanks to the Firewater tool that makes this process easy as pie. However, for this method to work, there are two requirements. Number one, your HTC One M8 must have an unlocked bootloader. Number two, your HTC One M8 must be rooted. Now, I do have a video to show you how to unlock and root your HTC One M8 in easy to follow crystal clear instructions. I will drop a link in the description below for that video. And if you already meet both of those requirements, let's go grab all the necessary files to complete this process. Now, one more thing before we dive in, this method will work on any HTC One M8 model as long as you meet the requirements above, okay? So it should work on AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and all international versions. All right, so the first step is to go and grab all the required files that we need to complete this task. So go to my website post for which I leave a link in the description below and make sure you use that link. This is only a preview post, so this link up here is not going to work. So click the link in the description below. And then uh, scroll down to where it says required downloads. And then the first thing you want to grab is the Fire Watcher tool. So click that and um, scroll down to where it says Instructions for a Normal Rooted Device. And then all you want to do is go to number three and click here where it says Download Fire Watcher. Okay, once you click that, a little file is going to download up. And then um, the next thing you want to grab is Android SDK Bundle. And if you go here, just click this blue button, scroll down, agree to the terms, choose whether you have a 32 or a 64 bit computer, and then click to download the SDK bundle. And that's all we need uh, as far as downloading stuff goes. All right, so once your downloads are complete, here's the ADT bundle, here's Fire Watcher. So make sure you extract this. I use 7 zip. For extraction so extract to ADT bundle folder takes a couple seconds there okay so once the extraction is complete go to the extracted folder mine went up here and um, just keep digging in go to SDK go to platform tools folder copy this folder and paste it on the desktop or wherever you please okay and then once you do that take the fire watcher file that you downloaded and put that in the platform tools folder and after that just delete the zip file and delete the ADT bundle extracted folder now there's a couple things we gotta do on our phone so go to the settings and scroll all the way down click about go to software information click more and tap that bill number seven times and the reason we're doing this is because we want to enable the developer's options menu. So go back to the main menu, scroll down, you'll see the developer's options. Go in, click OK, and make sure you enable USB debugging. Okay, so check that box, click OK one more time, and go home. Now there's a couple more things we gotta do, so let's finish those as well. So go back into the settings. Scroll down to the battery manager. Go all the way down and make sure fast boot is unchecked. Uncheck it. Okay. And then finally, you want to go all the way to where it says security, screen lock. Make sure you choose no lock screen for now. And that's all we need to do on the phone. And then connect your phone to your computer using the micro USB cable. And just try to use a USB 2.0 port when you're making the connection if you have one. All right, so now we are ready to uh, complete this task. So what, uh, what I want you to do is go to the Platform Tools folder, launch it, and uh, oops, go back. So make sure you're in the Platform Tools folder, and then uh, sh press Shift on your keyboard and right-click on your mouse and choose Open Command Window here. You can minimize that folder. And the very first command you want to type in is ADB devices. This is just going to make sure that ADB is working and we need ADB to work if we want the S off using the Firewatcher tool. So press enter. 
if you see a random number and device next to it, ADB is in fact working. Next command, ADB reboot. Press enter and your phone will in fact reboot. And once your phone reboots, we're going to type the next command in line. Okay, so the phone is back. Uh, it's up and running. So the next command is ADB. Wait for device space push space fire water data local TMP and that's gonna send the fire water tool to your phone we are using the push command to accomplish that okay so once your phone receives that fire water file the next command you wanna type in is ADB shell and after you type that you want to type in SU after that you want to type in SH CH mod 755 data local BMP fire watcher press enter and the final command you want to type in is slash data slash local slash TMP slash fire water press enter and this is going to launch the fire water tool now read the warning and then say yes or no if you want the S off you're gonna have to say yes so type in yes after reading that thing the disclaimer press enter and let the fire water do its thing on your phone And I do want to let you know that this could take a couple minutes, so uh, just uh, just be patient. You will get a prompt at the end that is going to tell you if you failed or if you succeeded, and you'll see it on mine as well. And your phone may turn off, so just leave everything alone until you see a prompt. Okay, so we are good to go. So the it says at the bottom there that device is now as off. Don't send uh, forget to send us all your money as a donation for their good services. Okay, so once this is complete, you can exit out of this. And what I want to do is I want to show you by going to the phone how to verify that you have as off. All right, so what you want to do here is go back to platform tools, shift, right click, open command window here. Should have never closed it. Uh, type in ADB reboot boot loader. Okay, this command is going to send you into the bootloader slash fast boot mode. And from there you can see if you have S off or not right on your phone. And if you look up here, you'll see S off on the top of your phone, which means everything worked perfectly. Alrighty, and then at this point we're done. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.